Talk about classic. Just a little over five years ago, I uploaded my video on version 0 0.5 of the controller vibration tester program that I've, I've made. And I was going back through some of my... Uh, some of my lists of videos that I wanted to make and I realized that hey I never made a video on uh, the release of this program so I'm gonna quickly uh, just go through how this program is installed show you how it works and uh, then I'll go through some of the changes that have been made um, since since that video was originally released so uh, without any further ado let's get into it So the first thing you're going to notice whenever you open this is just the picture of the Xbox 360 controller and yes that that is still what this program is made for. Uh, I have not tested it, uh, maybe at the end of this I will, I've got an Xbox One controller uh, next to me and I'm pretty sure there's a way to emulate PlayStation controllers as Xbox 360 controllers but that's not officially supported so so don't don't quote me on that. Um, so let's go through the uh, installer here just to show you how it works and uh, let you know what's going to go on with it whenever you open the program for the first time. So um, it's going to give you the most recent change log, uh, which is basically nothing for this version over 1.0. So uh, I guess once I open the program, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's uh, let's just click next here. So this screen just tells you about the uh, the license for it. It's it's free open source software. Um, I've got my email down there if you need uh, need any assistance with this program. And uh, so yeah, let's go to the next part. Um, here you can select where you want this installed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install it on a secondary drive. Make a new folder. And so now it's going to install in that folder. And so whenever you hit start here, the first thing that's going to pop up is this Microsoft XNA framework. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to allow the program to work. If you don't have this, it's going to keep the program from starting. Um, it's because whenever I program this, it actually um, uses the XNA framework, and it's something that doesn't just automatically come installed on Windows computers. Uh, since I already have it, I can cancel and just hit finish, and the program will say, hey, installation was completed successfully. And here's where it's going to tell you about the Click Team Install Creator. Um, it's just a really great tool if you want to make an installer package for any program. So, if you uh, if you want to make your own programs, I would re highly recommend it. So, we're gonna go straight into the program itself. I'm gonna go ahead and make a shortcut on the desktop for this, and then we can close that out. All right, now that we're zoomed in here a little bit, let's. Uh, Let's go over some of the changes in this program since the last time you saw it. Again, I'm going to use this controller, this ever wonderful uh, Afterglow controller that I have, that will flash when vibration is happening. You might also be able to see the motors inside here. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm terrible with mirrored images, so. <clears throat> I'm going to hold this up as I'm explaining some of the changes of the program. So, of course, we still have all of the same functionality as we used to. We have these sliders that will change the intensity of the vibration. We also have the buttons that do increments of 10% at a time. And if you watch the last video, or you have 0 0.5, you'll notice here that there's actually a output of this percentage and uh, so yeah as you're going through you'll see how intense that's supposed to be now another thing is uh, if you didn't see it already 
it's now grayed out these buttons so that if you have this both function on, you can't edit left or right. And you'll notice on the right motor you can pretty much go in any increment that you want to. Okay, and then on the left motor it automatically jumps up to 30%. I did a lot of testing and what I've found is that a lot of times on these Xbox 360 controllers this right motor is heavier so it takes a lot for the motor to start turning it and if it's trying to turn giving it voltage and not turning and you don't know it uh, you can actually damage that motor I found and uh, so if you go ahead and turn it up to as intense as it needs to be to start turning on its own as you can see then you don't worry about damaging the motor. And something that I've done with having these motors controlled individually is I've left this off button enabled for the both function so that you can just immediately turn everything off. Another thing down here is it will tell you how to safely exit the program so for example if I've got these going and I just try to close it out yeah that turns it off but at the same time it doesn't guarantee that it's going to stop trying to send that signal to the controller so you have to go into file and exit and that's the safest way to turn it off I still have the functionality in here for multiple controllers to be plugged in at once and obviously here uh, I've updated the branding so uh, clicking on this will take you to my website there's also a it opened my website on the other screen there's also a way to come in here and view the change log let me see if I can get this to a reasonable size and of course the change log is going to be available and open to everybody here you can also get download links to the other versions uh, of the program that I have available and just keep in mind if you try to go in here to download anything that's 0 0.6 or older you'll have to come up here and get this link which is the uh, Microsoft XNA framework redistributable the only other major change that I have to the program is this, the info button. Um, and it just tells you that, hey, I'm the guy that made it. And if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment below. And I will try to get back to everybody as soon as possible if I, if I can. A link to download this program will be in the description as well as a link to the changelog that has all of those awesome download links as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you find this program useful in any way, let me know in the comments as well. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, we'll see you later. Peace out.